Welcome to the first installment of The Joy of Development. For this project, I was thinking it's pretty likely that COVID is going to keep the mountains closed this year, so I decided to create a VR snowboarding project to tide me over. This project is designed using Unreal Engine 4 and an optional asset made in Blender. Feel free to install these programs and follow along. In this episode, we're going to keep things simple, just setting up our character and its components. To create our character, we're going to right-click in our content browser, go to Blueprint Class, and then select Character. We'll give the character a name and open it up. Select the capsule component and then select Add New Component. We're going to add a scene and rename it VR Root. To the VR Root component, we're going to add a camera and make sure that Lock to HMD is checked. We're also going to add a motion controller to the VR root, and we'll name this motion controller L. To motion controller L, we're going to add a static mesh, and we'll rename this hand L. We'll set the static mesh to a sphere, and then scale it down to hand size. And feel free to change the material. We're going to duplicate our motion controller and rename our duplicate Motion Controller R. We'll then go to the motion controller's details and make sure that the motion source is set to right. After that, we'll duplicate Hand L, rename our duplicate Hand R, and reparent that to Motion Controller R. Our VR components are all set, so we'll minimize that and jump down to character movement. The only thing we need to do here is set our default land movement mode to flying. After that, we'll go to our character details and look up Use Controller Rotation Yaw and set that to false. Now we need to add one more thing to our capsule component, and that's going to be a static mesh for our snowboard. For now, I'm just setting the static mesh to a cube and setting the material to something that can be more easily seen on the snow. We'll set its collision presets to no collision, and we'll scale the cube to snowboard proportions. Down on the Z to get it thin, down on the Y so it's narrow, and up on the X to about a snowboard's length. All right, and the last thing we need to do is check our capsule component for its half height. This is currently set at 88, and we're going to subtract that number from the Z location of our VR root and snowboard. Now to test your character, we're going to drag it into the world, search Auto Possess Player and set that to Player 0, and if it's not already set, go to the drop down next to the Play button and hit VR Preview. Strap on your headset and test out your components. You'll see that our head is still in line with the floor. Don't worry about that for now, we're going to fix it in code later. Look around and test to see that your HMD is tracking properly. Look at your hands and move them around to make sure that your motion controllers are tracking. And it looks like our hands have turned into a reminder for you to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And also don't forget to smash the like button. Check out episode 1.5 where we'll be making our snowboard in Blender, and in episode 2 we'll get started on our code.